Like many of you, I fell in love with CrossFit within my first workout, and I knew I wanted to be, make it a part of my life for long term. But I knew with the load that was going on and the advancement I was making to more of a competitor status that I needed more. And so I started looking at nutrition. When we were training for the 2012 games, my load increased, my weights increased, my intensity increased, and I knew that I needed to give something more. So I started dialing in my nutrition. Here's how I started advancing and trying out different things for my um, nutrition. If I wanted my body or I expected my body to do X, I need to fuel it appropriately. And nutrition wasn't just something that we saw on the wall or the base of our food pyramid. It was something that I really need to apply to my, my actual training. So as I continued to train, I kind of favored this nutrition. I could saw that when I played with different things, I got a different output. When my carbs were a little bit higher than what I thought they should be, I was able to last a little bit longer. When my nutrition was on point, then I noticed that my performance was better, I actually looked a little bit leaner, and I could withstand any amount of load that I added to my body. So this took me down a rabbit hole. I started digging and reading all kinds of crazy things. I was attending any kind of seminars from any kind of points of view, stuff that I, stuff that I agreed with, stuff that I disagreed with, just to see their side. I was reading any kind of books. I would always on the CrossFit Journal reading their articles. Um, recently, I did the Precision Nutrition uh, program that was a six month program where we talked about habit based nutrition where we make habit I mean, we make a habit out of our nutrition. We don't make it a stop and end point. I have a background in powerlifting where I ate a lot of like bland chicken and bland rice just to prepare to make sure I made weight. There was a, you started eating this way up until the ending of your meat. And so it wasn't long term. And I want nutrition to be long term. I don't want to have this stop and end point. So I want to educate you on, on all these things that I've learned and all these trials and errors that I've used for myself training for the 2012 games, for just natural training or for training for the 2016 games that, or 2015 games, excuse me. So with this, I've created the Bare Necessities program. And so I hope you will join me and on the program some Sunday, September 16th.